to the Empire State news film from around the world on your neighborhood screen today. Delivered via high-speed airmail. This is Aerotone News. Airborne shipping, the new king of commerce. Across all 23 American nations, old-fashioned trains, ships, and trucks are no match for the modern Zeppelin. Shipments have never been faster. Mountains, forests, and rivers? No problem for these luxury liners of the sky. But with modern air shipping comes modern air pirates, the scourge of the skies. Not since the days of wooden ships and iron men have pirates so cursed the world. Hunting the skies between the Americas for loot and cargo, and even the occasional kidnapping. But such villainy is answered in force. Government militias and private security companies have responded, raising their own air forces to fight the criminals, to beat the devils at their own game. Score one for the good guys. The Parade of Aces. The hair-raising adventures of these heroes have captured the imagination of the world. New York ladies man, loyal showstopper Crawford. Aviation security pioneer, Paladin Blake. Hollywood blonde shell, Charlie Steele. Ex-pirate turned pirate hunter, Easter Whitaker. The parade of infamy, the villains of the air. Double-crossing ex-Texas air ranger, the murderous Marshal Bill Redman. From Wall Street Raider to Zeppelin Bandit, the vicious Jonathan Genghis Khan. The pirate with a secret purpose, the brilliant and mysterious Black Swan. Don't let her beauty fool you, boys. This one's too hot to handle. And the undertaker of the sky out of Skyhaven, cold-blooded newcomer Ulysses Booth. But the pirate's short life of fame, daring, and fortune always ends the same in a twisted metal coffin. The battle rages on, but justice will prevail. The criminals of the air... What gives, boss? You, the world-famous Nathan Zachary, didn't even make it into this month's parade of infamy! <laughs> Trust me, Chaco. With what I've got planned, we will. Boss, this is Sparks. You still alive in there? Yeah. Gee, Skipper, you're missing the whole works. The party, the cookout, the women. When are you going to join us? I'll be down when I can, kid. See, I told you. He's not budging. Give me that thing. Gee, it's Tex. Not only are you missing Big John's choice, eat, but Justine here says she ain't done with you yet. Nathan, where are you? We miss you. I miss you. <laughs> Chief, you played work too hard. Why, you only spent one night with the ladies. And what a night it was. See, blowing off steam's good for a fella. What I'm getting at, sir, is that it's been a tough month. We all know how sore you are about that rat Miles double-crossing us in Cuba, but he's sleeping with the fishes now, and you'll figure out some plan to make us all rich again. You always do. Tex, let's not ever talk about Lucas Miles again. Understood? Now I've got work to do. He's hopeless! Here, you try. Jack here. What are you reading now, Zachary? British politics, uh, shipping reports? The Secret Journeys, a Hawaiian oral history of Sir Francis Drake, 1578-1580. Got it yesterday. You see, you see, that's sad. That you need to get out more. Fascinating. Everyone thinks Captain Cook discovered the Hawaiian Islands in 1778, but in 1579, the English privateer Sir Francis Drake was here. He lost his largest ship, the Teresa, in a storm near here, off the Kapaui Islands. All hands presumed lost. 
Oh, wow, no kidding. 1579 cheese and crackers. You know, I'll be sure to tell the crew. Jacko? Yeah? We're not here for fun. We're here for treasure. Remember that leather map we pinched in Tortuga? Two years ago. Yeah, sure. How could I forget? I finally figured out what it is. It's the map of the Teresa's last route. Jack, she was full of stolen Spanish gold. And I think I found her. Oh, why you old devil. Morning, everyone. Morning, sir. <laughs> Say, those Medusas must throw some kind of party. <laughs> the canned coffee can't help, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, here's the whole works. Jack's filled in on the real reason we're in Hawaii. Drake's gold. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, I've managed to narrow the list of potential sites down to three. The first site is in this cliff here, on the Kapaui Islands. Hey, how does shipwreck get way up there? We're looking for the treasure, Jack, not the ship. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, the treasure. The survivors may have rescued the gold from the wreck and hid it up on this cliff. Or I figure they may have buried it in this valley here at the second site. Or maybe the wreckage washed ashore into the same valley during a storm. Now the third and last site's out here somewhere, probably in this reef. I'll need only one wingman for today's mission. Yeah, sure, make me do all the work. Actually, Jack, I was thinking of taking Betty. What? Yes, sir! <laughs> <laughs> You'll get over it, Jack. We gotta give the new pilots as much flying time as we can afford. It's pretty quiet out there today, so I'm gonna give Betty here some tips on how to fly like a fortune hunter. Besides, Jack, I want you to ride with me in my plane. We'll check out each site from the air, get the lay of the land. If we find anything, I'll circle back around so you can bail out and verify the location from the ground. Yeah, well, don't come crying to me when she shoots your tail off or something, okay? Oh, you mean like that story Big John was telling me about you over Virginia, Jack? You know, the one where you shot up your own plane? Hey, hey, Remember hey that, that wasn't my fault. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> what do you know? New kid's got moxie. You're all right. Betty, I'll meet you outside, airborne in 15. The rest of you, no more parties till we get this gold job sewn up. Yes, I will you say, yeah. yeah. Try to get a feel for your plane, and keep your eyes peeled. Yes, sir. There's one of the sights over there, see it? The stone carvings could give a guy the creeps. Fly close to it, boy, to see if you can see anything. There might be something else good down there. Those carvings are the beginning of a cave. Say, there's an old altar down there. And I bet it has a few secrets. Golden secrets. Attention, unidentified aircraft. This area is under British authority. Kiss that bridge goodbye. Tough break. No one's getting between that treasure and us. See that? Looks like some sort of camp. I'll bet it belongs to a survivor of the wreck. Worth checking out for? Yeah. Do you see it? Attic. 
girl. That's it, all right. Now, that's the main treasure site. I'm sure of it. Jack, I'm going to fly over the site again. Get ready to bail out for a closer look. Jack is away. Let us know what you find down there, buddy. Pandora, this is Jack. Moving to Site 3. Looks like we hit the jackpot. Copy that. Pandora on the way. No need to follow that order, Spark. Now that you've found our treasure, Nathan, you and your floozy can scram. If you know what's good for you. Your treasure. Nice try, sister. But this claim is mine. Pirate's code, fair and square. You tell Justine that spending a night with me does not mean she gets to spend my loot. Yeah? Well, maybe a little swim will change your mind. Medusa's coming in, sir! The Medusa's have a cargo zeppelin coming in. British markings on it. Probably stolen, judging by the state of it. Looks like they're making a play for the treasure right now. We have to stop that zeppelin. Woohoo! Did you see that? Medusas? No, why? You looking for a date? Ha! <laughs> I draw the line at dames who shoot at me. That's not what I heard. <laughs> Touche. So, how are you feeling after your first proper fight? You want to head back to the Pandora and call it a day, or scout around some more? I'm good, boss. Whatever you want, I'll follow you. Betty's little scuffle with the Medusas have made us a popular dance partner. The spotters just sighted a group of British Balmoral bombers and their fighter escort headed our way. British? What are they doing in Hawaii? We'll deal with that later. Right now it looks like they want the treasure for themselves. So what now, boss? Two things. Stop those bombers from blowing our treasure to Kingdom Come and find out where they came from. Oh sure, we can just ask them. Excuse me, old chap. Mind telling me the location of your secret military base? <laughs> <laughs> first things first, Jack. When we launch, We'll hit their fighter escort. After we shoot down the fighters, destroy all the bombers but one. After we isolate that last bomber, I'm going to force them to let me board. What? Jack, you'll fly shotgun with me. I'll fly over the last bomber and match its speed. Once I've got us in position, Jack will take over my plane so I can climb out and jump down onto the bomber's wing and climb into the cockpit. 
Once I have control of the Balmoral and the rest of the fighter escorts have been cleared out, we'll head back and dock with the Pandora. I know the Balmoral's are swanky machines, Captain, but nice enough to risk your neck for? What gives? Now, I'm hoping there's a map, code book, or a talkative pilot on that bomber so we can find out where all these Brits are coming from. I don't want any more surprise visitors spoiling our plans to rescue that gold from the sea. Now everyone get ready. We launch in five.
doors open. Bombs away. Come on, 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 come on,